Semper, welcome to French's video. Well, today I'm going to show you a fun technique for background. It's called um, embossing wax paper. We're going <clears> to, <throat> I'm going to show you how to do the background with wax paper with um, embossing folder. This is one that I tried just before shooting this video. I want to say this is going to be one of my favorite ones. It's with the Chevron uh, embossing folder, and I use Marina Miss in the back. This one here, it's with uh, the wallpaper, um, vintage wallpaper embossing folder. That's the one I'm going to show you today because it reversed the image. So I want to show you how to reverse the image. If the chevron, it's the same thing, you know, the zigzag one way or the other, look the same thing. But with uh, the wallpaper, you get the two image. See, this is uh, white in the back, and this one it's the crumb cake in the back. So it reverses your image. So let's get started. First thing you want to do, it's take the embossing folder that of your choice. One thing that I'm going to mention though, you want an embossing folder that it's all full, you know, that it's all around. Like the Northern uh, Flurries, you get just a snowflake on one side and here it's empty. It don't work good because it crumpled the wax paper and you don't get a good image. So you want one that it's completely I'm looking for my um, the flurry one so then you're going to understand what I'm saying. You see the flurries uh, embossing folder it's just embossed over there and here it's plain. It's not for good because it crumbled the paper over here so you don't have a good image. So pick a folder that it's full like the wallpaper, the chevron, most of them are full. So you're going to take this Take a piece of wax paper. This here, it's not cut all the way. Let me do a nice edge here. It's going to be easier to put in my uh, folder. I'm going to put this in here. Put that in. Now we're going to pass just this in the the embossing uh, in the big shot. Just the wax paper with your folder. I'm going to pass this quick in the big shot. And just to make sure I don't get mixed up when I put my glossy paper. Here we go. Open this up. And now we need glossy paper that I forgot to grab. I used the one there to do my sample. And let me take a piece of glossy paper quick. Here we go. Now I get my glossy paper. What you're going to do, let me move this. You're going to take your wax paper and your glossy side, because you get two sides to it, the glossy side need to touch the wax paper. So I'm going to put the wax paper there and you're going to do two sheets at the same time. So now I get the wax paper. This is the glossy side need to go down because it's going to touch my uh, wax paper. Now we're going to let me bring a big towel so I won't burn my uh, countertop. We're going to put this here. We're going to put that between a piece of foil. I'm just doing a sandwich with my foil. Put that there. The reason the foil amplifies the heat and it's much easier. <coughs> Excuse me. Take your iron, set it up with no mess and as hot as it can get, and then just eat set this. So it's going to melt the wax. Here we go. Let me move my iron so I don't burn myself. Now we're going to take this. Take your two piece. And the wax paper is just good for one time. So don't reuse it. 
let me move this. Now we're going to use the brayer and I'm using crumb cake. And when you use your brayer, you don't go just this way because it's just going to put the ink half of the brayer. You lift up and put plenty. Do that a few times. And let's do one piece at a time. Then I'm going to come again. You see now I go back and forth. It's just spread it equally. Let's remove this one. Let's do the other one. And then you're going to see you get the reverse image. And I try with the sponge. And for some reason with the sponge you don't get a deep image like that. So the brayer worked much better. And you can use any color and the darker the color are the brighter your background going to uh, be. Next, the next step you take a rag and you're going to see the difference. See where you add the wax it's going to be all your just your glossy. It's going to take the ink off that. Here we go. And now let me do the other one. See, you get more of your image. It takes the, the wax, uh, not the wax, but the, uh, the ink on top of the wax that was melted there. Voila! How simple it is and you get an awesome background. This was the card that I did. And the reason why I put this in the middle, it's for my technique class. I want it to show them the reverse side there. This is it, my friend, on how to do the background with wax paper and embossing folder. Hope you learned something new. Till next time, happy stamping.